select star from I am slow. Let's do and use a SQL patch. What is that? The idea of SQL patch is you repair a statement by either adding hints or forcing it to ignore existing hints. I remember an application a customer showed me a long while ago where every statement sent by the application had used exactly the same hint. I mean, for such cases, we have an init order parameter, which allows you to ignore all hints. But let's assume you found just one or two statements where you realize another hint would be helpful or maybe more hints, or you want to ignore the hint. So we add or remove hints. It's transparent, so the application doesn't need to be changed. It's persistent, so we start up and shut down the database. Of course, the SQL patch stays in the database as a SQL profile does or a SQL plan baseline. The feature got introduced in 11G and got made publicly available since 12.201. Very important to mention here. This is available not only in Enterprise Edition, this is available in Standard 2 as well. The version differences result also in a different call to the procedure. So as you see in 11.2 and 12.1, it was an internal package, while on the right side of the slide, this is how we use it these days, DBMS SQL Diag, and I use the procedure, create SQL patch here in my example. So I use the SQL text, but as you can see in our pro tip, and as you will see in the demo later on, you can certainly use also the SQL ID. I add here a hint in my example, a parallel hint. This could be, for instance, a good thing for the time zone adjustments. And I give the patch a name. That's it. Doesn't look complicated, right? Let's have a closer look into a quick demo. So here I'm in a 12 to a one database. Let me do some adjustments and then send a statement. And let's assume that statement is uh, going on a 17 million row table. I set out a trace on, this is the statement my application sends. And you'll see that statement has a hint already. It wants to enforce an index range scan and it does what it's supposed to do. It, let's assume that is hard coded. Nine seconds, not so long, but still it took a few seconds. With the plan hash value here, I do a quick check in the second session. I check the SQL ID in VDOLA SQL with that plan hash value. And there are several ones. So I did an extra check to find out now the right one I wanted to uh, tune here. It's the first one with the 2N starting. And I prepared already a patching script. In that patching script, I use create SQL patch now with the SQL ID and hint, I use ignore optimizer embedded hints. So I do the reverse. I, instead of adding a hint, I want now the statement to ignore that misbehaving hint or wrongly placed hint. So I sent a statement again after I executed my script. And now you see it has been used. We do a full table scan and the execution time went down from nine to four seconds. This is of course a very artificial case, but the idea is that you can tweak statements without messing with the application. And it's another technique. You can also like transfer the SQL patch with the script to other systems. And it's a very efficient way, actually.